Hey guys, welcome to the introduction series to Git and GitHub. In today's lecture, we'll be focusing on Git and how you can use Git to create open source projects of your own and contribute to open source projects elsewhere. So first question, why do we need Git? Let's start with an example. Let's say you're working on a project of your own, a web application, and the web application initially just has one file, the index.html file. But as your project size grows, you'll have multiple files, various folders, and your project size becomes huge. Now it's difficult to keep track of all the changes that you're making. Your project could go through various versions and need to keep track of all of these changes. Let's take Facebook for example. This is how Facebook's website looked a few years back. Now it has evolved drastically and it looks something like this these days. But Facebook has track of each and every change that they've made ever since. And a utility or a software that helps you keep track of all of these changes is known as a version control system. So Git is nothing but a version control system. And one of the very basic advantages of a version control system is collaboration. So ideally you'll have multiple developers working on the same project. And it's not like they're sitting on the same computer and contributing code. They'll be working on their own computers and communicating the changes that they're making to a centralized repository. And Git helps specify a standardized way to communicate these changes. So effectively, the role of a version control system is to maintain the history of your project as your developers are contributing code to it. There could be multiple developers and could be contributing a lot of change. There are a lot of problems that could arise in this process. What happens if two developers want to make change to the same file? How exactly do they contribute code to the same project? Do they upload it somewhere? What are the commands that you need to know? How do you install Git on your local computer? Where exactly does Git store all of these changes? We'll answer some of these questions in the next lecture.